MLL rearranged acute lymphoblastic leukemia is one of the high risk types of uh, leukemia. So it's a very aggressive uh, disease with many early relapses. Uh, specifically, very young children uh, cut this type of uh, leukemia. And the current landscape is that large national and international study groups uh, treat these uh, children. You have the, uh, the infant study group, mainly covering Europe, South America, part of Asia. Uh, you have the COG group uh, and the Japanese group. And with the current chemotherapies, intensive chemotherapies, uh, you reach about a cure of 40 to 50 percent, not more than that. Uh, and uh, we go more and more into the direction of a, a worldwide protocol using the same chemotherapy backbone and trying to uh, use drugs on top of that in a, in a randomized way. The current therapies um, use, um, uh, well actually ALL standard chemotherapies and so far new drugs have not increased survival rates. So the survival chance of MLL rearranged ALL is only 40 to 50 percent. And uh, it's quite intensive chemotherapy. It has been proven that stem cell transplant is uh, not very e effective, only in a very small, highly selected subgroup of MLL rearranged ALL. And in the other, in the majority of uh, cases, it's shown that it's not effective. Uh, the Intervent study group published in 2007, uh, a large international uh, uh, study, uh, showing that the use of uh, RSC on top of an ALL uh, treatment increased uh, the survival rate. The COG has studied a FLIT3 inhibitor. Unfortunately, that did not uh, increase the survival rate. Um, and that's the, the situation where we are now.